Welcome back to another video guys. In this video, we'll be looking at registering our project within the dashboard for the uh, Chainsafe Gaming SDK. So if we head over to Google or any kind of browser, we can go to dashboard.gaming.chainsafe.io and it should load us into the, uh, the Chainsafe Gaming dashboard. Now we do have to register or log in with an email address. So for this instance, I will create a temporary email just for demonstration purposes. We'll just give it a moment. There we go. Great, we'll log in with that. A code will be sent to this email address. So we'll just give it a moment. Perfect. All right, in which case we can just grab Grab this code, go back into here, verify the code to the account, and you'll see that we have no projects. Um, now, this is optional. You can just give some information here. It helps us uh, to understand your needs better and it helps to troubleshoot issues and whatnot uh, when they do come about. So this is optional, but we can just go no thanks, it's fine. Uh, we can go create a project. I'll call this tutorial. We'll create it and then we'll be given a id so we can copy this id go back to unity at the very top click on window click on chain safe server settings and within this window here let's see if we can just plot that bad boy and over here we can enter our project id we can choose the chain we want to be developing on in my case i'll use chronos um, actually apologies 338 for the chronos testnet Kronos, the network being the chain network, so testnet, this can be Ethereum, Binance, whichever you prefer. You can enter your own RPC here depending on what chain you're developing on, after which you can click on save settings, and then you should see here in the console a debug that says that our project ID is valid, and then we can now start using the SDK. So at the end of this video, you have now successfully registered your project with the Chainsafe Gaming dashboard, and you can start developing. Thanks for watching.